done? Hey. Good evening, and welcome to another episode of The Cooking Show. Uh, today, got a short one for you. We're going to be making French bread. All you need for this recipe is salt, water, flour, yeast, and a mixing bowl. Let's get into it. Okay, first thing you want to do is heat up your water to about a... First thing you want to do is heat up your water... First thing you want to do is heat up your... First thing you want to do is heat up to your water to about... Trooper! First thing you want to do is heat up your water to about 100 degrees. I don't have a thermometer, but courtesy of coronavirus, I have one of these take your temperature type things. It says it's about 102, okay? And, uh, you know, I think the recipe said between 100 and 105. So that will work out perfect. Oh, forgot to measure. <laughs> so the next thing you'll want to do is measure out a cup of this water that's around 100 to 105 degrees. And pour it in your bowl. All right, so once you have your water in there, you're gonna to wanna to add this yeast to it. Um, you need to add two and a quarter tablespoons, excuse me, teaspoons of traditional yeast, which is this right here. You can get it at any grocery store, it's about a buck. Say that's about a quarter, so two and, two and a quarter. And we're gonna wait 10 minutes for this to bloom. And you should see it start to bubble. That's what you're looking for. All right, as you can see, it's now bloomed into some, whatever that is, like some chunky stuff. I think that's uh, I think that's what you're supposed to look for. You take one teaspoon of salt, half a cup of flour, and you give her a good whisking. you have thoroughly whisked, you add two more cups of flour. And I believe at this point, you're supposed to get in there with your hands. Let me uh, mix this up and see if that is true. Yep, it's looking like I'm gonna need to get in there with some hand action. All right, so that's about as bally as we're gonna get, right? And um, we're gonna cover this. I don't know what I'm gonna cover it with. I'm gonna cover it with a towel, I suppose. And let it rise for fifteen minutes. Cover it for fifteen minutes. Be back in fifteen. Alright, it's been fifteen minutes. Take a look at what we got here. 
I don't know if that looks any different. But now we're gonna wanna knead this for about 15 minutes, it says. It's my understanding that you wanna put a little bit of this down so that it doesn't stick while you're kneading it. That's just flour, by the way. I'm sure you already knew that, but just in case. Cover it and wait an hour. All right, now according to the recipe, this should be much larger than when I put it in there. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it worked. So we're supposed to knead it again. Take our dough ball, put it back in the dough pan, cover it back up, and wait for science to happen again. All right, so if things are done correctly, this should be big again. And indeed it is. All right, so the next step is to punch this down. And you can break it into either two or four, four loaves of bread. And I only want two. Okay. Here's one loafy thingy. There's the second loafy thingy. Put this on a baking sheet. Okay, next, you're supposed to cover these with a damp, lint-free cloth. Now, I don't know if this is lint-free, but we're going to work with it. And we let this rise again for 45 minutes. See you in a bit. All right, next step is to preheat the oven. To 450. And wait 10 minutes and 25 for three seconds. Oh yeah, also you wanna put a metal uh, tray, um, that thing on the bottom rack and you're gonna fill it with a cup of water after the oven heats up. All right, so now that the oven is preheated the dough is finished doing what the dough is going to do. Oh, I wish that was in there. Yeah, well, you want to give her a little slice down the old middle. Okay. Another slice down the old middle. Just hope that went all the way through, or not all the way through, but. The next step, I believe, is going to be difficult to do with one hand, but we'll try it. 
Okay, oven's preheated. Open her up. Put the bread on the middle rack. And put, put a cup of water on the thing and then close it quickly. And then you hope that that steam stays in there. Admittedly, not the best looking bread you've ever seen. I don't know if it's supposed to be hard on the outside like that. Soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside. I think that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, let me try it. Well, it's amazing, so make your own bread. If I can do it, you can do it.